Hello everyone, I hope you're well. For today's performing arts task, we are continuing looking at these three sulfur pictures, Do, Re, and Mi. And today, we are possibly even going to include a new one. Mm. The song that we're going to look at is a song called Rain Come Wet Me. I'm going to sing it for you, and then I want you to echo back what you've heard. First of all, here's the whole song. Rain come wet me, sun come dry me, keep away big black clouds, don't come nigh me. Let's try learning that a bit at a time, we'll break it down into sections. I will sing a part, when I point to the screen like this, that means it is your turn to sing back what you've heard. Rain come wet me, sun come dry me. Keep away big black clouds, don't come nigh me. Nigh is like an old fashioned way of saying near, so they're saying don't come near me big black clouds. We want nice sunshine. <laughs> Can we try singing the whole song together now? Rain come wet me, sun come dry me, keep away big black clouds, don't come nigh me. Here we go, rain come wet me, sun come dry me, keep away big black clouds, don't come nigh me. This time I want to see if we can pitch pattern. We're familiar with pitch patterning, we know that our high note goes on our heads, our middle note goes on our shoulders, and our low note goes down here on our knees. However, I think for this song I can hear another sound in there as well. This is our high note, this is our middle note, and this is our low note. However, we started here. Hmm, if that's our high note and we actually start here, do we need to go lower than that or higher than that? If you said higher, you are correct. Our first note is going to be up here. Rain, come, wet, me. Second phrase, is it the same or different? Sun, come, dry me. If you said it is the same, you are correct. The words change, but our pitch pattern is exactly the same. Rain come wet me, sun come dry me. Then we jump back to the same starting spot, but we're going to go back and forth between a few notes. Keep away big black clouds, don't come nigh me. Ah. Phrase four sounds familiar as well, doesn't it? Don't come nigh me. Out of those four phrases, rain come wet me, sun come dry me, keep away big black clouds, don't come nigh me. Which one was different? Which one was the odd one out? If you said phrase three, keep away big black clouds, then you are correct. Well done. All the others follow this descending pattern. Now we need to figure out what that new note is. We need to figure out how much higher it is than me. We know it's higher, but how much? For that, let's jump over to the piano. Here is our piano. We can see that each of these keys makes a different sound. Here is me, here is Ray, and here is Do. We can see that they are all right next to each other. They are a step apart. Do to Re is a step, and Re to Mi is a step. Now we know that our new note is higher than Mi. It's going to be somewhere up this way, but we need to figure out where. Let's see if it's the note a step higher. Rain come with me. Hmm, that doesn't quite sound right, does it? No, they don't match. So it can't be this one. Let's try the note a skip higher, skipping over that note to here. Ah, rain come wet me. That sounds a bit better. Our new note is a skip higher than me. So we have discovered that this new note is in fact a skip higher than me. There's an extra note in there in the middle somewhere. I can now present, drum roll please, that our new note, a skip higher than me, is called 
so and it has a hand sign that looks like this we stick our elbows out nice and wide to the side place our hands flat like this make sure you're not giving me a thumbs up so me right can we please try replacing our pitch patterning with hand signs as we sing this is so me re and do rain come wet me sun come dry me keep away big black clouds don't come nigh me now for today's seesaw task you're going to need to remember which ones are so's which ones are me's which ones are rays and which ones are do's so for our final step, can you please replace the words rain come wet me with sulfur, so me, re, and do. If we go, so me, re, do, so me, re, do, so me, so, so me, so, so me, re, do. Well done. Let's take a look at what we need to do to complete our seesaw activity. When you click on the add a response button, you'll be taken to a template that looks like this. As you can see, we have the sheet music for rain come wet me. Rain come wet me, sun come dry me, keep away big black clouds, don't come nigh me. What you will need to do is select the highlighter tool and find all of the so's in this piece. We know that it starts on a so, so we can highlight that note. Therefore, we know that any note that happens here on line two is going to be a so. That won't be a so, that won't be a so, that won't be a so. Aha, uh -huh, that one will be a so, we can highlight that one. See if you can find any other so's in the piece and make sure you highlight them. Then using the pencil tool you need to circle whether the distance between so and me is a step or a skip. Once you are finished remember to click the green tick to submit your work. 